everybody, it's Nadia here, and today I'm bringing you a full body workout. The best thing is you won't need to leave your mat anytime during the workout, and it's completely body weight. Only four exercises. Push-ups, belly down, W, glute bridge, and bicycle oblique crunch. I'm going to use my uh, clean timer app on my phone. I'm setting the timer at 4515 for the intervals. Uh, I'm just remembering that I need to add a couple. This should take less than 12 minutes to complete. Um, this is a great workout for beginners or a great warm up for those who are seasoned. All right, let's get started. We got about 15 seconds to get into place and ready. So, if you're doing the push ups on your toes, you're just going to lift your knees off the floor. If you're doing them on your knees, then make sure your back stays nice and flat. Make sure your shoulders stay down on your back and your chest is lifted. Tummy nice and tight. Every time. Oh, arms are still sore from my last workout right now. So I might have to modify. So modification is knees down on the floor. Whew. Got another 20 seconds left here. Okay. Make sure that your back's not going down first. If it is, I want you to firm your tummy. Another 10 seconds. Triceps in my chest. <laughs> Alright, we're just going straight down to the belly. Or the w. Okay. I like to bring my feet together when I do this. Make sure the hips are pressed into the mat and your arms by your side. Your chin should be tucked. You bring a lift. Draw your shoulder blades together on the back. Lower. If those who want to challenge himself, you're going to stay lifted the whole time. But if you need to, lift and lower. An even bigger challenge would be to lift your feet up off the floor as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the feet because I know I need to work my entire back body. You should feel your shoulder blades squeeze together on the back and a little lift in your chest when you do this. Try not to let your shoulders tuck forward. Last, oh, not last move. You've got two more. You're going to roll over onto your back. Plant your feet in front of your hips. Go ahead and lift bridge. Go ahead and drive those hips up toward the ceiling and lower. Make sure your heels stay connected to the floor when you're going. When you're lifting the heels up, you're working more calves and hamstrings. So you really want to work those glutes. Draw the tummy in as you press up and squeeze the glutes tightly. I'm using this one as my warm up today. Okay. Last one is going to be your dice below the knee crunch. So, what we're going to do is put the hands in front of your head. I'll start with level one bicycle of knees. So, keep your feet on the floor for level one. From here, you're going to draw your knee across the body and your elbow toward the knee. Now, depending on how long your arms are, it may not touch. That's okay. The goal is actually to get the twist. But just try to avoid letting your foot shift as you go. your 15 second break, you're going to go right back to the top. If you need a longer break to grab water, then please make sure to pause your time or pause this video. Back to push-ups. 
I like to do full range of motion push-ups. If you find you can't go that far down, it's okay. I'm a perfectionist. So. <laughs> I like to do it with my like, super awesome core, even if I have to modify. Okay, that works for me. Better safe than sorry to make this happen. If you find you can't push yourself up anymore, then a good idea is to put your belly all the way to the floor. At that point, you can sort of peel your hips up off the floor and then slowly drop them down, carefully keeping your tummy tight. Okay, that's another option. Right. Moving back into our double loops. Sometimes I'm absent minded, so I forget what I'm doing next. <laughs> it's okay though. That's why I'm here for you guys, so you don't forget. actually out on my balcony, it's my patio um, right now. It's a gorgeous day out here in California. I couldn't resist taking the rig out outdoors. But if you're somewhere where there's cold weather right now, if you're not, you can always take it outside. All you gotta do is have a soft surface like a carpet or a mat. Get to our hoop bridges. Those of you who want to take your glute bridge up a notch, you can always keep your hips at the top and give a little pulse instead. That will keep both your quads and your glutes working for much longer. You get literally no breaks in between on that one. Try to avoid letting your knees fall out to the sides. And let them stay in line with your hips as much as possible. Oh, it burns. <laughs> it's always a simple exercise in which you're like, oh man, I forgot how much that hurts. It hurts in a good way though. All right, hands behind the head. This time we're going to do level two. Remember that level one, you're going to keep one foot on the floor at all times. Level two, you're going to tabletop those legs. Flatten your back, and then twist. As you kick your leg out in front of you, you're actually engaging through the quads and the lower abdominals a little bit more. Oh, those obliques are going to feel good today. Less talking required on this one. My apologies. <laughs> I bet you're feeling it as much as I am, whether you're doing the modification in level one or level two. Woo. So we got one more round. That one's going much faster than the next one. Okay. Let's get ready for those push-ups. Remember that when you're lowering down to your push-ups, you should be drawing your elbows close to you. A lot of them, a lot of people push their elbows out to the sides. That's an easy way to kind of injure your wrists or contribute to at least wrist pain over time. So just take it easy on those wrists. You need to stay a little bit higher or completely drop to the floor like I showed you before. Oh, a lot of push-ups. <laughs> It's the one exercise that we love to hate, right? Okay. <gasps> Almost there. Have to get that last one. Alright. <laughs> okay, ready for these W's. Oof, I'm starting to feel energized though. So 
if you are lifting your feet up off the floor, I just encourage you to try to keep the top of your feet aimed down. What happens when you start turning out your feet is you turn out your hips. That makes your back kind of press towards the floor a little bit more. I mean, it's a little hard to explain because I'm doing it right now, but you might find that you have some sensitivity in the back when you do that. Again, try to keep the feet on the floor if you need to. Going back into our the bridge, final time. Okay. Remember that this is the level one version. Level two is to keep your hips up. You can do that nice pulse. If you wanted to cut down this workout once you get used to it, let's say you only have, uh, I don't know, nine minutes, let's do the math right now. But, um, you can cut down the amount of time you're doing each exercise or cut down the breaks. So instead of doing 45, 15, you could let's say do a 30, 10, so 30 seconds on, 10 seconds less. Ooh, you want to make sure that the workouts work for you, right? Okay, we got our final move, which is our bicycle and the punch. Let's do this. any questions about them, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel. Uh, my blog is at nadiasantiago.com slash blog. Um, I write about mostly fitness topics, but also other things about career and self-development as well. Uh, you can also follow my studio's uh, Facebook page, which is Method Free Fitness. We're located in San Jose. So if you're very already local, come check it out. All right, guys. See you later. Have a good workout, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ciao.